Thanks for stopping by. I'd like to preface this video by saying it is not a knitting tutorial, but it means to have something playing in the background while you work on your own project. If you're like me and really enjoy having something on while you work, sometimes you find that the content you like is very visually engaging and you're several hours in and haven't gotten nearly as far along in your project as you would have liked to. So that's where I come in. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today, as the thumbnail and title indicates, it is the Rye Light Sock by Ten Can Knits. This is a continuation of the first one that I tried to do, messed it up, and I am doing another one. This is no longer really a holiday project. It's just a when I'm done with it, it'll be a gift of sorts <laughs> for my partner. And we are just knitting the foot part until we get to the length we need to start shaping the toe. Um, so I hope you guys are all having a good day wherever you are. It's Sunday evening. I have to go to work tomorrow. There's nothing, well, I say go to work, I have to sit downstairs for a long period of time at my uh, desk to do work for my job is really what I mean. I don't have to go in, but I am working from home at the moment. And yes, it has been quite an experience lately. I, I was very tired on Friday. Uh, in my earlier video, I mentioned that I was off on Friday, I was going to film, I just slept pretty much the whole day. Uh, a coworker of mine was going to meet me at our job because she had to pick something up from her office, and she's actually the woman who has gifted me so much yarn when I was starting out, as well as a lot of pattern books and books related to... Um, knitting like uh, three different books from Stephanie Pearl McPhee and that's been pretty awesome. So I, as you guys know, or if you're new here you might not know, but if you are returning, uh, I had two videos where I was knitting the Mochi Mochi Land Tiny Cats which are right here, my little co-workers, my office pals. I made a bunch Oh, I have most of them as beans, just the bodies, no ears, eyes, tails, legs, any of the details, but I've knit all the beans, and now I'm just adding those finishing touches to them. And my coworker, who had to go to her office to get something, I live very close to where I work, so I, I can walk there, and she asked if I wanted to meet up. So she picked up some food, we sat very, very far apart from each other in like this kind of courtyard kind of area. And so I tossed her, well, she like put my food down and then she walked over to her like picnic spot and got hers out and then she, she treated because she's like, oh, you know, I haven't seen you in a while. Why don't we meet up social distanced wise? And, and I was like, oh, well, if I'm going to see you in person, then I don't have to mail her co-worker cats to her so I brought them with me and she was sitting over across the way and I was like I made something for you so I like threw the cats at her and she's like oh they're so cute they're so cute thank you thank you um so she likes them and I'm hoping that my other co-workers will like theirs as well once I finally get done with them. You know, as small as they are, they do take a bit of work because, you know, you need that dexterity, you're dealing with like tiny little bits of thread, and it's just a process to, to make them. Um, so even with like the worsted weight yarn that I tried, it was still um, quite a while before, you know, I finished making the body, so... I'm thinking the rest of my coworkers will appreciate their little office pals. And I'm going to write them little notes too to be like, uh, I meant to send this out to you earlier, but I took a while, sorry. <laughs> 
but I think they'll understand. Um, so yeah, so I met with her yesterday. I got home and I tried to turn on my computer because I was going to do some work before I started filming again as I wanted to come right back and be like, hey guys, I just had lunch with a friend and tell you guys about it. But um, my computer wouldn't cycle through to the home screen. It kept like loading that black screen. If you have Windows, it turns on and it has a black screen with all the white text where it's like doing all the magic in the background and it just kept cycling through that screen over and over and over and I was like oh my gosh what's going on so my partner who had built my computer for me ages ago um, was like well you're we know for we had known for a while that my um, Windows operating system was out of date and it was no longer supported or no longer authentic and I had to either get a new totally new operating system or buy a he something something tech like that I should know but I don't because uh, my partner does all of that hard work thinking for me <laughs> and um, they're like oh yeah we we need to fix this up for you so I basically had to last night just look through all of my files and make sure everything I absolutely needed that wasn't a program that I could just um, reinstall could be moved into a safe spot so that when they added this new RAM it wouldn't mess it up something don't don't quote me <laughs> and so yeah that took a little bit of time and then I'm like I'm sure I have everything um, I had Thankfully, I had already been saving all of my video um, material to one of the hard drives in my computer, so that was already like taken care of. But the video editing software, my Adobe Creative Suite, like Microsoft Office, and all of that was on a different drive, and my partner was like, "You can't take that to the the new one, so you have to." buy Windows again or, um, you know, go with Google Docs, which is fine. It doesn't have all. M maybe when Google has all of the functionality of Word, then I'll, or Word and Excel, then I'll, I'll make the switch over because I use Google for other stuff, but not, not like my heavy hitter documents. So I was like, fine, fine, fine. So um, we, we made the switch over, had to reinstall all my programs except, well one, one thing I was lucky about was that um, my office suite I get through my work. So I was able to get that reinstalled just by logging in with my work account, but um, Adobe, because my version was really really old, if you are familiar with Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign, it's pretty much cloud-based now and you have to pay a monthly subscription. And I, even though I primarily use Photoshop at the moment, I love Illustrator. I love to do digital artwork here and there. I still use it for other um, purposes like making icons and things like that. And I really like it. And I've used InDesign pretty sparingly, but I still love InDesign for doing like my print layouts. I actually made my brother uh, a mix CD several holidays ago, and I used InDesign to do the layout for the artwork of each each page and the little booklet I made with it to, to talk about the songs and things. And yeah, so I was very bummed I couldn't get just um, the licensing rights to download it and have it on my desktop and a one-time fee for you know whatever the latest version is of of the Adobe Creative Suite I'm like I don't want to pay for the cloud I don't want to pay monthly like for that I mean I pay monthly for many other things that I rarely use um, 
at least to the extent where I would really get my money's worth. So I was like, I don't want to do that. So I was looking at some alternatives, and yeah, there are some free ones. Um, at least for like Photoshop equivalent is GIMP, G-I-M-P. And I've used that before because I used to run Linux on my laptop that is ancient. Uh, as far as laptop years go, it's, it's, I'm almost afraid to plug it in. I haven't used it in a very long time, so I don't even know if it works anymore, but I do have a laptop and it used to run Linux. And yeah, so GIMP was okay. It was kind of clunky, but it worked for the most part. Um, but I found this other one. I was reading some articles and there's this um, creative suite sort of thing called Affinity. And if you've used it or if you know about it, let me know. But it is cheaper. They're doing um, a COVID-19 um, discount thing. So it's half off for their version of Photoshop and their version of Illustrator and InDesign. So instead of paying $50, like $52 a month for all of those for like the whole cloud suite of um, Adobe, I only had to pay a one-time fee of almost $80. So each package was like $24, $24.99 I think and like some tax. So yeah, I was pleasantly surprised and it came with a few different fonts packages. So I was playing around with that this morning because um, somebody who works for us during this kind of semi-open, semi-closed kind of deal at my job was in and I had to kind of train them on some stuff. So I was waiting until they told me they were there to, to talk to them. And yeah, so I'm excited. Um, I did some editing of the videos I filmed after the ones that I did on Thursday, like later that night. And yeah, so video editing software did an update and it's actually better than the one I was using. Same, same software, different version. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit faster too at uploading or converting the files, so woo, yay. So I'm really excited about all that. So those were some good things that happened to me. Got to hang out with a coworker that I really like, got to do some knitting, fixed up my computer, so now I'm actually running Windows 10, which I'm running Windows 10 on my work computer and my home computer was on Windows 7, so it was a jump, a jump into the future. So now I'm up to speed. Now I'm, I'm with it, you know, I'm cool, I'm hip, I've got all the cool tech now, so feeling, feeling all right. Um, additionally, when I woke up this morning, I saw that I was tagged in a pretty awesome message by Jenny, if you're watching, hello, um, about a, a new project. Not for right now, but uh, we made an agreement on Instagram that it would be like an August knit along. So below, you're going to find the link to the pattern and the proceeds go to Black Lives Matter um, movement. So very good cause, obviously, I would say, and you can, I would say if you are not Jenny and you want to purchase this pattern and be prepared to join us when the time comes in a couple months, by all means, I think we can kind of invite some other people to participate, at least by the pattern and support uh, the cause, and I'm excited. I have to buy mine actually after I finish filming this because I was 
busy with that person today, so I didn't get a chance to just um, step aside and do that when I found out what was happening, but I am excited. Cool. All right, so I'm still knitting around, making sure I don't lose my, my place here. So yay. And I honestly, you know, I didn't look at the pattern yet, so I'm wondering, I probably have the yarn that I need for it because they're um, fingerless mittens, so very nice. Looks like I will be able to do it without any issues, um, but let's not place any bets. <laughs> but looks very cute. Okay, so this is the end of my round, sort of, kind of. I think I want to try doing two at a time. I'm a little scared. Or maybe even magic loop. I don't know. I want to just try some other ways to knit socks, but I don't want to mess up either because like this, this, or um, with a fixed circular that's a little tiny one, that's doing okay. Like, you know, if it's not broken, don't try to fix it kind of a thing, but I do want to kind of spread my wings and try another method of is a method or technique of knitting socks because now I feel all kinds of inspired by watching um, that expressions fiber lady <laughs> like ooh she's got all kinds of cool skills all right so you we were well I wasn't filming for forever but I was looking at the time. I have about 10 minutes left on the camera. So I will quit while I'm ahead before I start flapping my gums and then we cut out again. Mm -hmm. But you'll see in the few rounds we've knit, uh, we're still not very far yet. My partner wears about a size 10, 10 and a half men's. So yeah, this is like a little tiny baby kid foot. So. <laughs> We have quite a ways to go. And this is still just sock one, guys. Remember that. This is just the first sock of a pair that we're working on. I still have very much more of my um, Knit Picks yarn to f work on with this. And I think I have, um, I have another skein, but I know it's buried in my tub of yarn that I haven't yet opened, so one of these days I'll be able to fish it out so we can work on the other sock. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking with me through the end of this video. I truly appreciate it. Do check out that pattern below in case you want to join us for the knit along in August, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!